During the Indo Defense 2025 Expo, Indonesian defense startup Republic Defense showcased the Brahmara Kamikaze, a lightweight multi rotor drone engineered for swift, pinpoint attacks. Compact enough to be carried in a standard backpack, the Brahmara is tailored for mobile ground units operating in dynamic and high pressure environments such as urban areas, forests, and contested front lines. This miniaturized loitering munition provides an agile strike option for squads that lack access to traditional air support or heavy firepower. Capable of reaching speeds up to 33 meters per second, approximately 119 kilometers per hour, the drone significantly reduces the window of time available for enemies to detect or evade it. The high speed supports its role as a fast response asset in sudden engagements, enabling immediate follow through once a target is identified. First presented to the public in 2023 alongside its heavier counterpart, the Kanta drone, the Brahmara received strong political backing from then Defense Minister and current Indonesian President Prabowo Subianto. His call for mass production of kamikaze drones reflects both a strategic pivot in Indonesia's military doctrine and the growing international reliance on loitering munitions, particularly noted in modern conflicts like the war in Ukraine. Equipped with a 400-gram explosive charge built into the body, the Brahmara is designed for single-use missions against soft targets, including enemy troops, unarmored vehicles, or lightly fortified positions. Its combat range of 2.5 kilometers makes it ideal for short-distance strikes where precision and quick action are paramount. The small warhead aligns with the drone's minimalistic design, which is intended to be effective in cluttered and constrained combat zones where minimizing collateral damage is crucial. Its electric multirotor system supports vertical lift-off and controlled landings, making it well-suited for launches in tight or rugged terrain without the need for extensive infrastructure. The electric drive not only enables quieter operation and lower thermal signatures but also simplifies field maintenance, making the system practical for forces operating in remote or resource-scarce regions. The Brahmara is expendable by design, emphasizing ease of deployment and logistical simplicity over reuse. The drone is deployed without specialized launch gear, requiring no rails or vehicle-based platforms. This adds flexibility for forces on the move and makes it possible to launch the drone from almost any terrain, be it jungle, rubble, or a makeshift base. Its plug-and-play nature means minimal training is required, further reinforcing its utility for frontline squads with limited technical support. A key feature of the Brahmara is its integrated targeting system, offering strike precision within a 10-meter radius. This helps to ensure accurate terminal engagements and reduces unintended impact on surrounding areas. The system also includes a safety fuse mechanism, engineered to prevent detonation during storage or handling. The warhead only activates upon terminal approach or impact, enhancing safety for troops operating in close quarters or carrying multiple drones. Brahmara is one among several Indonesian drone systems under active development. PT Dahana previously introduced the Rajatha in 2021, designed as an affordable solution with plans to incorporate an abort capability. PT Pindad's Minib was later developed into a swarm-ready UAV by Beta UAS and featured during Indo-Defense 2022. In 2025, PAL Indonesia also presented a new shoulder-mounted laser system capable of neutralizing hostile drones at distances of up to 400 meters. These advancements form part of Indonesia's broader push to upgrade its defense technology. This includes indigenous UAV projects such as the Lapan LSU-02 and LSU-03, as well as the domestic co-production of Turkish Anka drones via a partnership with Baykar. The country is also weighing the acquisition of more Biraktor units and Chinese CH-4 drones. Meanwhile, efforts to integrate national defense firms under the Defend ID umbrella, bringing together PT Dahana, PT Pindad, PT Len, PT Pau, and Indonesian Aerospace, are ongoing. While these steps mark significant progress, analysts caution that gaps in training, inter-service coordination, and doctrinal consistency persist. Even with the rollout of a tactical data link system in 2024, the effectiveness of Indonesia's growing drone arsenal will ultimately depend on overcoming these systemic challenges, all within the constraints of a defense budget that continues to hover below 1% of national GDP.